So it's been a while since I uh, since I posted a video, and so I wanted to kind of give some updates as to what's been going on. And I'm trying to keep this kind of short, so we'll we'll see what happens. Um, so as you can see here, holstered and the gun is hot as well. Is the Alpha Fox Trot S15? I am now carrying this gun at least temporarily. And the reason I say say that is because uh. I sent my gun, my Bull Armory Ultralight, back to uh, the mothership. In my last video, I was talking about some things, and then at the end, um, I mentioned some of the woes that I had with the Bull Armory, mainly that the grip safety wasn't working, and that I had to send it back to them in January to get it repaired. Uh, and so, <laughs> immediately after stopping that video, I... Uh, I decided to check and the grip safety, uh, I was actually able to get the trigger to drop uh, without engaging the grip safety. What, what I thought they had fixed um, either reverted back or was never fixed, I, I, I don't know. So what I wanted to do was try and get it fixed. So, so I had a couple of options. So I'm going to list the options here and I'm just kind of I'm trying to remember them. I'm not, I'm working, I'm not working on a script. So I could have it, have the grip safety pinned since it's a problem issue with that particular gun. Uh, but I opted not to do that because if I'm going to buy something that's well over a thousand bucks, uh, that gun is like, I think I, I was 1500, 1600 bucks, whatever comes on the gun needs to work. So I'm not going to sit there and try and uh, circumvent a safety that's not working. I want it to work. So another option would have been to, for me to kind of figure out what's going on with it and fix it myself. Um, again, I don't want to be doing that with a $1,500, $1,600 gun. Uh, so um, I didn't throw that option out, but I left it as maybe a last resort type thing. Third option would have been to find someone, whether it's local or remote, uh, that's a gunsmith that could fix the issue. And fourth option would have been to reach out to Bull Armory, telling them that, hey, the gun's out of warranty and you guys repaired this when the warranty was still intact. You didn't get it right. I realize the warranty is no, it's no longer in the warranty, but could you, could you look at it? figure out what's going wrong, give me an estimated price, and if it's within reason, I'll pay for it out of my own pocket. And the fifth option would have been along those lines as well, but demanding that they fix something that they claim that they fixed, you know, in the past. Uh, and so I went with the last option. So what I did was I reached out to them via email, well, via their contact us a little form letter on their website, and kind of broke down everything that's happened. You know, the fact that, you know, uh, I sent it in eight months ago. They sent it back. I tested it when I got it back and it was working. Uh, and then eight months later, it's doing it again and kind of explaining them, hey, uh, um, if it's broken now, it was probably never fixed properly. What's going on here? And I also mentioned that I spoke with someone else who also had the same gun who had the exact same issue uh now they bought theirs a little bit before i bought mine uh because this guy said that he returned it back to the the importer and the importer at the time was gp arms uh so he sent it to gabe and what he got back from gabe was oh yeah i've seen this before I'll fix it. And he fixed it and he said he never had a problem again. It's been like a, a year and a half, close to two years. Uh, and he's not had a single issue. Whereas I sent it back to actual Bull Armory and they don't get it right. And I have to send it back again. That's kind of, it's kind of, it's kind of bad on Bull Armory's part, in my opinion, which is probably, probably why they decided to, to take the gun back. Now, some clarifications that I made in there in, in correspondence with, with them was I asked them, I said, can you, 
can you fix this under warranty since you didn't get it right the first time? And then I told them I need the gun to be reliable. And this is a, a, a huge concern for me because if I can't trust that safety to work, how can I trust other safeties to work? You know, whether it's internal or whatever. Uh, yes, some people can carry a pinned safety without issue. Uh, and yes, my trigger, you know, th th this is my safety, right? But if I, if that were the case, I would have just, I would have been happy with a Glock. And I do have, I do have Glocks. I've carried Glocks, but there's a reason I wanted to carry the Bull Army. I, I love it. I love it, but that shit needs to be fixed. I also conveyed to them that when they fix it this time, if it requires parts replacement, please do it. When I did my research, when I found out it wasn't working, I wanted to know what was the cause of the issue. Uh, someone who has some gunsmithing experience, um, they, they didn't go in a huge amount of detail, but they did say usually that happens when something is aggressively fitted or overly fitted, fitted too much. So he said that more than likely some fitting on the grip safety, they, they fitted it too much. So uh, in, in my head, I'm thinking, well, that means if, if, if they're fitting, they're removing material, how can you unfix that? So, so I, I kind of got, you know, the more I'm kind of investigating, the more I'm getting upset because I sent the gun back to Bull Armory and I don't understand why they would kind of it sounds like they just did the bare minimum to kind of get it working again, not even thinking about, hey, this 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 fix is probably temporary. And and really, how do you undo a a, a part that has been fitted too much? If it's fitted too much, it's no longer fitted, in my opinion. It's it, it's out of spec. It you know the part's not working the way it's supposed to because you remove too much material. In the I, I guess in the the challenge to get something that that is super tight and super like nice feeling. So I did ask him, I said, when you diagnose this, can you do it? You know, basically saying, can you do it right this time? If that means changing out the grip safety, please do that. Because it's like, I don't want to have to be kind of worried about reliability issues. This is my carry gun, you know? So uh, they were very understanding and, and keep in mind when I when I when I crafted that documentation or or those comments and put it you know and sent it to them uh, there is a high level of professionalism applied to that it's not like I was kind of ripping into them and I was being an asshole or anything like that uh, which is probably why they determined that they probably needed to look at it again because I tell you now if they would have said no I, I of course I listed all the options that I said that I had right all of the you know the the workarounds but I I definitely would have kind of shared that with uh, YouTube and some of the other platforms I'm on uh, and let them know you know let the uh, viewership know that hey this happened this is how they handled this issue uh, and I mean. I didn't threaten them with any of that and they don't know me from anyone else. So, I mean, but in the end, it's like they opted to get in front of the issue. So now I'm waiting for it to get back. They've had it maybe a week now. Uh, last time I sent it to them, they had it for 28 days before they notified me that they were going to send it back. So I'm going to say that maybe that that wait is going to be, you know, just as long uh, or this wait is going to be just as long as the last. Um, so I am not going to bug them. I'm going to going to do the same thing as last time, which is just not uh, not bug them. Uh, I'm not the only customer they have and pretty sure they still, you know, and in Israel, they still got issues going on, which is probably going to affect uh, operations in Miami, where, you know, the U.S. headquarters is for for Bull Armory. So um, 
In the meantime, I am carrying Alpha Foxtrot S15. Uh, some things that I have to say are, and where we at? With the 11 minute mark, we're doing good. I got a stream light. So I bought the TLR 7X. Uh, this actually fits on all of my railed guns. Uh, so a lot of people opt for the, the full size, and especially when it comes to 2011s, because I, I think they just want that extra weight hanging off. Um, I don't really care for a huge ass cylinder that's sticking out beyond the barrel of my gun. Uh, that's just me. So I opted for the smaller versions. Uh, this also fits, whoops, excuse me. This also fits on the, the, the rail of the Alpha Fox Trot. So I mainly bought this for use with the Bull Armory. So we'll test that when we get back. But the, the problem is, a problem that I'm seeing is, is that I haven't even got the Bull Armory back yet. And I don't have a holster that accepts weapon mounted lights. So what did I do? I went to QVO Tactical and ordered a 2011 holster that is their, it's not the discrete, it's the, it's the middle. So they have, it's the smaller, or well, the, the more up-to-date version. I think the discrete is their original version. Um, I'm trying to remember what it, what it is. It's the, it's got the extra fixings. So I, had, uh, I'm, I asked them to build me a holster with certain things on it. One, the holster is going to accept this or TLRA uh, a formatted uh, uh, a formatted weapon light. Um, the X will fit A. Um, I think they're they're all the same. Uh, and I say that because. Uh, um, I have a gun, uh, I think it's the TSIS DS, uh, where the vendor said that nothing will fit it with the exception of the latest variant of the TLR-7A. <laughs> this fits that gun without issue. Uh, so I think it doesn't really matter. 